Welcome back to Big Board. Interesting times here at the Sharp household, uh, or the, the Big Board household, and, uh, uh, you know, moved out to the to the country, move out to, you know, smaller town. It's, it's a 101, 102 Fahrenheit, about 38 Celsius. We live in a metal shed that's insulated and all the rest of it. And, of course, uh, Texas being run by you know, a number of inept institutions and entities uh, can't keep up with the heat. It's an extraordinarily hot summer, although I do recall having experienced hotter summers. There's no electricity at the moment is my net point. Let's just cut to the chase. So I'm here shirtless with a cold beer, uh, a little uh, Mexican beer, Negro Modelo. Well, it's actually just the Modelo. Uh, but uh, and uh, dripping from my armpits, if you can uh, visualize that special thing. And I thought, well, since uh, you know I can keep playing Semper Fi, but let's do some prep work on the next game we're going to play, which is going to be MBT. And we're going to play from the FRG module, uh, the Germans. And uh, there's a, a nice little scenario here. It's, let me just flip back to the actual name of it. Oh, that's, is that it? No, that's not it. Here, here it is. It's called Over the Hill. Over Hill and Dale. And, uh, you know, the idea here is that it's just a straight dash across the, across the board. There are VPs per unit value, VP unit value for exiting off the map. Uh, let's see how many turns we got here. We have 15 turns and Soviets get VPs for the force up to the first 14 units that exit uh, from this edge of the map. And Germans get points for all the functional operational units that fail to exit of the Soviets. And then, of course, there's VPs from the nation. Right, so <clears throat> let's have a look at the force mix and then we'll have a look at the maps, right? Now, uh, let me, uh, I can probably zoom in a little bit here. I've got the camera here. Let's start with the, the German force. M113s, so basically headquarters. And uh, then we've got a, a heavy machine gun, looks like. Uh, yeah, so three, three heavy machine guns. Where are the uh, RPGs? Panzerfaust, I guess. Panzerfaust 44s. I would have to look those up to see what they are, but no, uh, none of the nifty stuff, just a uh, smaller scale ATGM anti tank uh, capability from the infantry. So we're going to spread those around somewhere. And of course, then four Leopard 2As, which will no doubt uh, have a nice effect. Now, one of the interesting things is that hull down uh, attempts can be uh, get a bonus for the Leopards in the first three turns. So if you're not happy with your position and you're trying to move to <clears throat> get better sighting and stuff like that, you can do that. Uh, uh, you get a bonus to, on trying to find a hold down position. Now for the Soviets, full company, four platoons, so maybe a heavy company, and then three companies of infantry uh, with RPGs, 22s as well, and a Saxon. Uh, sax horn as well, I should say. No ID, no air in this one. We're going to use all the command rules, going to use all the extra ammo rules and penetration rules and all that fun, goofy stuff and morale. And, you know, we'll probably put the little turret counters on there as well. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how, uh, see how uh, detailed I want to get. So that's the deal, right? So let's have a look at the map though. So 15 turns and we know that the little tanks... The little, uh, what are they? Oh, they're 64s. So they're things that go boom. So uh, movement rate is six on the road. They get to use road movement, which, let me show you again. I nearly knocked the whole dang thing over. And there we go, sharp, way to go. All right, there is one road entering the map. What are you doing? Don't do this to me now. Okay, be that way. Uh, <clears throat> entering the map, so six movement points, one, two, three, four, five, six, so we can get to here first turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, one, six, six, so it's seven turns to get off the map, basically, 
Hmm. If we stay on the road. And meander through there like that. The alternative is uh, actually, hang on one sec. All right, I just wanted to check that I was uh, counting correctly, and I was. It's been a while since I've looked at the, the little doohickeys here. So, all right, so uh, several turns to get across the map unless we go cross country, which would be a straight shot, but wide, wide, wide out in the open. Uh, we'd have to try and use some smoke uh, and stuff like that. So I'm not sure how that would all pan out for us. Yeah, it looks pretty sticky. So strategy for the Soviets, other than to bum rush, might be to lead with, there's a couple of recon vehicles I can see here that they have. So we could lead off with those, draw some fire potentially, then have <clears throat> the BMPs follow along trying to either disgorge troops and clear or uh, and then you know maybe supported by these guys or, or one of the companies and then try and get the rest to uh, sort of bypass and, and make a run for it as the case may be. So that would be the idea probably the best plan here you know along this track through the woods going through the open uh, you know it might just become a stand-up fight and that might be where we would then want to you know, look at the details of where are the ranged shots going to be most effective for each side tactically, right? So uh, with a T-64B, am I going to need to get in close or am I going to be okay shooting at uh, short range or medium range or whatever the case may be? I'm going to guess just I'm having not used the Leopards previously, I don't think, I'm going to guess that they're going to have the best standoff shot uh, of uh, between the two tank uh, platforms, right? So that will be interesting in of itself, just to kind of do the comparative between those two uh, units and see how they they will work out. Now for the Germans, bigger bigger challenge because we've got to cover both approaches. Uh, this Hill 7.21 is probably important to have a commanding field field of fire if there is a rush across this way or uh, uh, or uh, a, a end around through here and through this rough or around this way to the road. So look, you know, here's another option for the Soviets, right? Come on here or even here under cover, meander through here, jump onto the road and then shush, uh, shush across this way. That could be a viable option. So that would mean <clears throat> that we would need to have coverage, uh, fields of fire from here, fields of fire here, 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 and here. Fields of fire here and here, and potentially from uh, this direction as well, while still trying to deal with this issue. And I imagine that in this sort of terrain here, we could put a squad with a M113, uh, you know, back in the woods so they can they can shoot and scoot to a certain degree, uh, and and go for it from that perspective. So we could scatter some guys around here or on this section of the of the map as well. And then there's probably a good spot up here somewhere, or I actually like this rough terrain because it gives you some nice benefits for defense. So you could go right here and get some decent shots out to here potentially. In worst case, you could shoot here, kill a unit or damage a unit and then back off uh, back up to here potentially or even here or here uh, for, for further shots up the road uh, or have units in both you know you know have a overwatch situation there and then then a little bit more defense in depth in the back here this is the this could be the back of the biggest challenges if we don't cover cover this section uh, of the map correctly you know if we don't take care of this it might make it easy for the Soviets to, to do the run, right? To do the dash. Uh, you know, there's also an option for them to, whoops, not a big deal. I, I don't have any Plex. You know, the Plex is all packed up. I'm gonna have to go buy some probably. I hate these maps. Uh, so you come on here, they could then go that way or they could even go this way, which, you know, is uh, would pose a, a challenge to keep the, the German defender in place. Anyway, all right. 
I need a swig of beer and uh, some air conditioning. It's hot. That's all I got for you. We'll catch you later. Go roll some dice. Ciao.